like it's Mopar Monday. I'm BC. This is Spirit Cars, but it looks like I'm auction man for Spirit at the diecast division of Spirit Cars tonight. It's like late night. We're going live, but you can watch this. It's on YouTube anytime. What we're doing, we're sorting through cars. We got a lot of diecast cars. Normally, we're in the hot rod building business. We build fiberglass bodied hot rods and all kinds of stuff like that. But we've got a lot of diecast cars that we're putting on the internet. Josh is doing that. Right now, Josh, the voice behind Spirit Cars, I normally introduce him as behind the camera. He's like, no parts. And uh, just kind of show you, this will be coming up on eBay. You'll be posting these here pretty soon in the next day or two or three. We got some Daytonas. Check these out. And some Dodge Daytonas. The wind cars, they're pretty darn cool. I come so close. The Superbird was like, man, I wanted one. And back, and this must have been in about, I'm from Chicago area, so there was a, a car auction there. And I had me a Mach 1, a 69 Mach 1 that I was selling at auction. And I think I only wanted like $2,800 for it. And behind me in line, about six cars behind me, there was a Superbird. And I'm like, if I can sell my Mach 1... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that Superbird. I only had a little bit of money, like all of us. We had to buy one car, get it fixed up, and sell it to get our next car. And I wasn't too far out of high school back then. Daggummit, if I couldn't sell my 69 Mach 1 for what I wanted. And I remember that Superbird, it only went for $3,500. Although I don't believe he sold it for way back then. So we got Superbirds here. So my dream car that never happened. Now it's a little bit out of my price range. But I have one, two, three four super birds and we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven daytonas wing cars these are cool a couple of these here they're one of a 500 and they, these two here i believe are one of uh 204 no right here what is that one one of one of 200 and something there can't see the lights too bright. okay so we're, we're that and now so we got these these look like they come from, i got to have my, my safety glasses with bifocals, is that so you don't mind if I read? So it's a, a 71 Hemi Cuda, and it looks like these were made for the Mopar Monster Weekend in 2001. So we've got three hard tops and one convertible. And have you put these online yet? I have one of the hard tops. Well, what are we asking for this? Is that an auction or is it on... I don't remember. Anyway, we've been searching hard and we've been watching eBay for what they're selling for. And we're going under what they're selling for. We got a lot of cars to sell. We, we want a fair price for them, but we don't want to we don't want to keep them forever. These are a couple cool cars. The Cudas. So we got a 70, a convertible, and we got a 70 hard top. This one comes with the window sticker. This is amazing. 1970. This car suggested manufacturer retail price is $3,164. You could get the Elastro metric front and rear bumpers that were colorized already and everything. That was a $110 option. You got the track pack was a $142 option. The louvered window package was a $91.10 option. Power brakes with a $42 option. Get this one out. The manual transmission four speed was a $194 option. And the 440 a $249 option. So this car was optioned out with stripes and road rally wheels and the whole thing for the whopping total of destination charges and all. $4,000. $561.35. So, I tell you what, this car is going to be for sale, and the destination charges won't be anywhere near $114, unless maybe you live in Russia or China or somewhere. But if you're in the United States, old USA, this one comes with paperwork. So, I don't know, we don't have that listed yet, though, do we? No. No, but it'll be up there pretty quick. And we got some of these movie cars. Mopar was pretty big in the movies. You got the Charger from Bullet. Uh, and I have, I've owned a couple of Chargers. Never owned a Challenger, so you got the Challenger from... There's another Superbird over here, a white one. There's another Superbird. 
Sorry, we got disconnected for just a second, so. Until we're back. Yep. There's a road runner. Beep beep. They actually had a beep beep horn, did you know that? Yeah. Okay, well that's a crazy horn. I'm an old body man, I restored one way, way back in the day. Pretty cool. So anyway, that's it for, it's not even, probably not even Monday night anymore, it's probably Tuesday morning, but it's for Monday. <laughs> so I think we'll probably be doing this uh, all day long, we build cars from nothing. And uh, so it's kind of fun, to, these are just random cars we got out, and again, these. This is the kind of stuff we build here. We build the old hot rods. We do a, there's a 40, we do a 32, we do a Model A, we do a, we do a T-bucket. What all do we do? We do um, a full line of Model A's, pickups and sedans, sedan deliveries, five windows. We got all kinds of cars for spiritcars.com. But if you want to check out the die cast, you have to go to Auction Man for Spirit. Yeah, I've got a link on the, I'll put a link on this video, but on the video before, it will have a link, it has a link to our store. Okay, so we'll put a link to the store, and uh, if you don't mind, if you know people that are into diecast, share this video. Uh, we're just now getting into some of the diecast forums, and I'm getting excited about it. I'm, Josh wanted to sell them all, I, I, but I've already got a, a pretty large collection of diecast that I've had over the years of my, my cars, and this is kind of just extra. So, um. Uh, some of this might sneak out, I don't know. It may not make it to the auction, but, but we'll see. But well, thanks for joining us tonight, or if you're watching during the day or whenever, again, share this with others that might might enjoy some of these cars. And if you, you have the car of your dreams, uh, for Spirit, we say we don't build cars, we build dreams. And for a lot of us, these are dream cars. And it's not just a toy collecting hobby. It's a, it, These are dream cars, and they're incredibly detailed. It's amazing to me how detailed they are. So y'all have a good night, and we'll catch you on the next one.